Hey guys, so we have set everything up. All the insulation is now in all between the noggins. I literally used a full, oh, you can't see, I used a full can of expandable foam going through around all the gaps, making sure all the gaps were tight and sealed. Um, I even went overkill and insulated, well, foamed around all these uh, rods. Um, so I'm now going to set up my first board. Um, I'm working from front to back rather than back to front because my front edge is parallel to the house. Um, the corners are pretty much 90 and then the back is sloping. So I can do all my cuts on the back then um, on the angle at the end. So I'm going to get the first board in. We're going to be using some D4 premium <coughs> wood adhesive. Um, I don't know if this expands up. I don't know what sort of timer is on it. Uh, oh, sets in 10 minutes. There we go. Um, bought some fixings for the boards, which are Spectre 60 mil screws for the forehead. Um, and they've got that sort of smoothness there so it grips in below and pulls the deck down i'm not sure if these heads are a bit too small but this should be okay so i'm gonna jump on that now it works out just slightly over three boards so there's about a 300 mil overhang so i'm gonna have to cut my next board like 70 percent or 60 percent for the other end and stagger it and go from there so let's get it started We are slowly getting there with the chipboard. Um, so what I've done, uh, because I mentioned that corner was out of square, I started off flush this edge by here. And as you can see, as we run up, the squareness of the boards is running out. That's probably about 15 mil there. So I imagine over the whole lot is 25, 30 mil. Um, staggering the boards, just end up doing half a board and I'm letting them overhang over there because I got plenty of board. Um, and the offcuts can go straight in the skip. So we've probably got about 300 mil overhang on that bottom board, as you can see just by there. Um, managed to get the rest of the board round. Um, so I'm just slowly working my way through. Got through one bottle of uh, D4 glue. A um, couple of things. This wasn't the chipboard I was expecting. I thought it was going to be the um, Kaber keeper deck which has got the film on it which is not this is a p p5 or p4 whatever it's called moisture resistant board but obviously it can't get wet otherwise it will soak up the rain um these little brown spots here i'm got a feeling it would be like off cuts of mdf because condensation came out last night and all those brown spots furred up just like mdf so i'm going to get this on tonight get it all finished I've bought a seven and a half meter by five meter tarpaulin, which is going to go over the whole lot and keep it tidy. I'm going to try and get all the USB around here tonight and on the deck, and then I can get all the timber over there wrapped up. Um, had a little accident today. Whacked my finger with a hammer while I was knocking the timber backwards with our block and hammer. Bust up my nail. So that ruined my day a bit. So I slowed me down, struggling to pick up nails and move things without killing my finger. But the deck itself is pretty sturdy. Um, pretty happy with it. Once it goes on, I can start the walls. Um, I think we're gonna go with a fiber cement uh, cladding on the end there and on the back. Leave the front and the, the, rear, uh, the left side exposed just as batten and membrane. Um, and then we'll probably decide later down the line when we do a renovation on the actual house um, what timber we're going to stick on the house to what timber we're going to stick on the um, shed to match in. So yeah, I'm going to carry on with this, get it done, finish up for the night and call her a day. Hi guys, so I'm just, um, well, I just finished up the flooring. We had a few issues, the tarpaulin leaked all over the floor. And unfortunately this is an Eager Protect and it shouldn't get wet. It is P5 moisture resistant, so it has sort of taken the brunt of it, but 
obviously I don't want to get it wet, so I've swept it all off, cleared everything out. Um, and just started my side walls. So what I've done, because I got 3.4 meters there, I've got 4.1 meter over there, and then I've also got a slant going across the back. Um, instead of doing level wall across, level wall across, and level wall across, I'm doing a sloped wall down there, a slope wall down there, and then my back wall will slope to take the pitch of the roof correctly so it's all flat through. Um, so what I've done is I've made up a jig. Um, I've done the front height measurement off the edge of the deck, off the edge of my deck. Um, and it just so happens that this corner is perfectly square. So the front square, the side square, this will be my front. And I don't know if you can tell, but that gap opens up and it's, the roof slopes in. So I'm just cutting them all now, 400 centers, um, cutting to the right length. Um, I have marked where the top of the wall will be. Um, that's two plates there up to this timber. So that's the thickness. I'm cutting all these then to the length of the bottom. Over here, I'm just pushing them up and pushing them up to the timber up there and then just scribing underneath so they've got the length. Um, and I'll do the next one like so and just scribe under there, cut, cut, cut. I'm putting the twists opposite ways to straighten up the wall. And then I measured across my 400 centers here and my 400 centers at the top. And then I've measured my longest point, which is, that's my longest point, my wall there, 90 mil back to allow for the back wall timbers to sit in with the OSB overhang. And I also measured up to my smallest wall, three meters, and that's my 90 mil overhang there. So I've got this perfect jig set out to make all my side walls um, perfectly sloped, same pitch as the roof. So I don't have to infill the ends with noggins, etc. Everything will just shoot through. All my little ladders will shoot through perfectly, sit on top of the wall, I can just infill it nicely. Um, that's sort of just like my way of making things perfect. I didn't want any gaps. After I fill it all in with noggins afterwards, I make my wall, clad my wall, everything's perfect. Shoot it up, spot on, no problems at all. My roof then will slope lovely around the side with my soffit. Um, all my cladding, once I take it up to the top of the wall, I can scribe it to the top of the wall and everything will just be perfect. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my measurements are right. Um, but. I have been fighting against the rain. It's been raining the last few days. I only finished off a panel there and two lengths at the back. Um, I've run out of D4 glue, so I need to pick some more of that up. I probably will go for the polyurethane for the roof. Um, I might buy some more glue or just use ordinary um, PVA to stick my OSBs down. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've got probably about 45 minutes before eight o'clock and that's when I'll probably stop. Um, and then I gotta try and cover everything out here. I'm losing light quickly, and in the next half hour, I will probably be pitch black. So. For the same as wanted for the side walls to get my length of the uprights, um, I've done the same again. I strung a line from here right down to the end, deducted the 78 mil for the top um, sole plate. Um, I've done the whole length of the shed now for the back wall. Um, Filling up is only like 20 mil difference in the whole length, so it's not too bad. Um, I've marked out all my centers now, my 400 centers. Put my timbers up to this, nice and tight. Mark them underneath on the end, and then cut them on the chop saw, and I can just chop my wall together. As you can see, I've got the one end there, I've got the one end behind Natasha, if she's in there, and clamp to the fence temporary. Um, and then we're going to try and get the back wall on today on OSB, side wall on OSB, front wall and that side wall on OSB, wrap it into IVEC and then try and get the roof on. It's uh, going to be a hard, hard slog today, but we'll try and get it done. So, yeah. We've got most of our back wall ready. That's the bottom end, this is the top. Um, we're going to do a bit different to how Liam does his. I'm going to overhang the bottom, pin it all along level, then square up the side. As you can see, it's not square at the moment. Square up the side. And then once I've done one, I'm going to lop it off. I'm going to chuck the wall up because I'll keep it square for now. And then I'm going to board it afterwards, um, only because it's just me and the wife. Um, and I really want to get the roof on today, so I'm just going to try and chuck the walls up temporary. Chuck one board of OSB in the corners to square it up brace it all, make sure it stays fairly square and just temporarily get the roof on um, so we can get the OSB up. Um, I might be able to get all the OSB on the outside of the walls fixed today just to square it up and get it all permanently fixed. But we're going to see because we're, we're sort of pressed for time because it's going to be tipping down tomorrow and the following few days. I haven't bought the Eager Protect so 
I'm getting wet spots at the moment coming through my tarpaulin, which is not very good. Um, and I just want to get this watertight as quick as possible. So we're going to chuck this back wall on, work the sides, and go from there. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. All right, morning, guys. Um. It's now like 11 o'clock in the morning. It is a wet but sunny day. Um, yesterday was Saturday. It was meant to be dry all day. Um, I didn't have the walls ready. They are now up. The roof is now temporary on. I need to bolt all these joists. I gotta redo all the decking, but the rubber is over the roof to try and keep it dry. Um, but one thing I didn't think of last night was I left this corner open and the water run down the outside of the rubber and the rubber was poking in and soaked all the floor by here. So lesson learned. Um, all this was wet this morning because I brushed it all. And then over in this back corner, as you can see, the wind blew the rubber off just the corner across here. So water was coming down to the joists and onto the floor again, lesson learned. So I'm just currently cutting all the back of the timbers ready to take the fascia timber ready to take the actual fascia and soffit, and then I can roll the rubber over and tack it on. Um, I did tack all the t rubber across the front this morning, oh well, yeah, last night, to stop it blowing away. It was like 10 o'clock at night, which is held. But then, early hours this morning, water was running off this and shooting at an angle straight onto the deck. So that was fun. Um, I think I might have mentioned before, this is moisture resistant board, but it's not designed to get wet. Um, it says it is literally just for areas of moisture, so in a house, maybe on a, a roof deck, I don't know. But luckily it got soaked um, about four times now, twice with the rain, two times into the tarpaulin, no matter how much we try to dry it off. And now this morning, so five times, the joints are swelling up slightly, but the structural integrity of the floor seems quite uh, sturdy still. So I'm hoping it's just surface um, I can go around and just sand the joints down before I put my underlaying laminate flooring on. Obviously, I will let this dry out once we get it watertight. Probably stick a dehumidifier in here. Um, but as you can see, I've literally just chucked the boards in. You can see the rubber through there. Um, it was literally just to try and get this watertight because we had downpour all last night. It's meant to be pretty much wet for the next few weeks. So the plan is, when I get a dry weekend, I'm going to peel half the roof back and lay out all my timber, uh, lay out all my roof boards correctly, screw them down, glue them down, and then once that's done, clean off the excess glue, fold the roof back over, and then work back the other way, just like um, Liam does with the rubber, but to get the roof down, just to keep it watertight for now. Um, all right, there you go, nice blue skies out there. I wish it was like that all day yesterday. Um, so yeah, we had a really good push yesterday. My brother-in-law came round, helped me get this steel in, and he helped me get the rubber on the roof, just the two of us. That was a bit of a struggle, but we got it done. And thankfully, because of that, we kept the building fairly dry internally. So my goal today is just get that back all trimmed back and the timber cladded on, get the roof wrapped under, and create a bit of a, a sag and drip so the water just drips down. And I'm hoping to board there, board there, board there. Um, I'm leaving the board off at the front here because this external wall and that back wall need painting with fire rated paint. Now, this is the gap I got. It is literally 100 and, 110 mil maybe, 120 mil. Um, so I've only screwed that wall in. I put a screw in the top each end, um, just up there, just up there, a couple of screws across the bottom. Um, and the plan is keep the braces in this room get the timber clad in, slide the wall out the front, um, lean it up against the shed, get it all, it's already battened, I've got the battens on there, um, get it cladded, 
and painted with the fire rated paint and needs something like one base layer of intermescent uh, paint and then another layer I think of the intermescent and then a top layer of fire retardant so I've seen videos on it it's amazing um, the paint sort of like bubbles up and creates like an insulated layer against flames so that's what the council wanted or I could have done hardy board but hardy board was almost a thousand pound more um, so it's cost me about 400 quid for the timber for the side and the back and um, inc that's including the paint which is not too bad hopefully I can pop in here in the evenings now I've got all this area I can set up my circle saw and my chop saw um, I can get those boards on I can start doing all the no noggins temporary nog all the walls out um, and yeah just just start cracking on and cracking on I might be able to insulate I don't know yet but, or I might wait till the roof deck is completely glued and screwed down um, other than that, yes, it was a crap day, but thanks to my wife, Natasha, being a top labourer, we managed to get all the walls up, most of them boarded, bar a few cuts, um, and all the roof joints, uh, roof joists in. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just bolt them through the evenings and the week now, and just crack on. There is one really bad timber that's got a hell of a twist in it which is this one here we'll look right through and then when you get to the end you can see he is pulling up oh and that's another thing i gotta put all my joist hangers upside down on these once i pull the boards off didn't get time to do it yesterday it was getting too late and to be too noisy but uh yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying this build progress video um I just want to say a thank you to Liam for doing the build pack because I could not be bothered measuring up all the materials. So far, there, there are a few excess bits of materials, but that's the fact that I've done this smaller. I've done it 3.3 there and four meters across there. So I'm losing a few square meters on the back. But any excess materials I'm going to be using internally in the corner as my little sort of workshop. So yeah, so keep watching. If you like the videos, give it a like. Um, if you do want to follow us for not just this garden build, also our renovation on the property, which is going to start hopefully spring next year. Um, we're just waiting on all the planning to come through, not the planning, the architect's drawings come through and then go for planning just to be 100% sure. Um, and we'll be re renovating that over the next year or two. So uh, if you do enjoy the videos, guys, subscribe, like, leave any comments what you think, and uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it rep.